Hi, this is Rick Levine here today to talk with you about Saturn in Capricorn. Saturn is a 30-year cycle, actually 29 years it takes Saturn to go around the Sun once. Therefore, it spends about two and a quarter, two and a half years in each sign. Saturn has been in the sign of Sagittarius, and on December 19th, 2017, Saturn moves from Sagittarius into its home sign of Capricorn. We'll say more about that in a moment. And it stays in Capricorn all the way until 2020. It moves it out of Capricorn into Aquarius in March of 2020. So we have about two years and a, and a quarter of Saturn in the sign of Capricorn. And what does this mean? The Saturn in Capricorn is a homecoming. Why do I say that? In astrology, Every planet relates to a sign, and every sign relates to a planet. In ancient astrology, some planets did double duty, and Saturn was one of those planets. Saturn is the key or ruling planet of Capricorn, and in traditional astrology, Aquarius too. So when Saturn comes around the zodiac through Sagittarius into Capricorn, it's in a five-year period, and that is moving from Sagittarius into Capricorn and Aquarius, where Saturn has its chops, it has its juice. It's in its own home, and so it is most expressive and most powerful. So what does Saturn and Capricorn mean? Well, let's back up a bit and ask, what does Saturn mean? Saturn is the limit. The ancients looked at the nighttime sky, and they saw the planets moving around. The word planet means wanderer. They saw the planets wandering around the heavens. The slowest moving of the wanderers was Saturn. Nothing moved past Saturn. The ancients did not know about Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and so many other things that we now know go around the sun also. What this means was Saturn had weight. Saturn was the planet of change that was the deepest, most powerful, most profound change possible. Saturn was associated with old age. The word Saturn comes from the word Satan. It's the same etymological roots. And Satan is simply the fallen angel. Satan is light that has fallen through the gates into the three-dimensional world from the divine proportion into this world, into the fallen world. And Saturn represents the three-dimensional world. Saturn is the what you see is what you get part of reality. Saturn is karma. Saturn is, if you do good work, it's rewarded. If you do bad stuff, it's punished. In fact, Saturn is Father Time. The word Saturn is Latin for the Greek word chronos. Chronos is time. It's actually the time that we can measure. Saturn or chronos is Father Time. It's the Grim Reaper. Again, it's the you get what you deserve. It's karma. So when Saturn comes home to Capricorn, there's this sense of hard work is rewarded. Saturn is not a negative or bad planet, neither is Capricorn a bad sign. They just both denote work. We sometimes call Saturn the taskmaster because Saturn says you got to do the work. There's no escape. It's not like Saturn in Sagittarius was about the big ideas that we have that are out in the future. When Saturn was in Sagittarius, we were trying to put our ideas into some form that gave us a plan. But now with Saturn in Capricorn, it's like the time has come around. It's not the future. It's about doing it now. It's about getting down to hard work. And I think that the two years or two and a half years with Saturn in Capricorn, a lot of the things from the last time when Saturn was in Capricorn in the late 80s, there's a sense of the things coming around and having to face the music. When we talk about facing the music or dealing with older cycles, we have to also note the fact that Pluto, the slowest moving of all the known planets, Pluto is in the sign of Capricorn also. And, in fact, Saturn will line up with Pluto in January of 2020 before Saturn moves into Aquarius in March of 2020. Now, I know that seems like a far, far off in the distance, 
But the fact of the matter is that once Saturn moves into Capricorn, we should be thinking about that 2020 period because it's such a dynamic period of changings, of endings, and of beginnings. And what that means is that the more we can think about two or three years into the future and put those things into effect now, the better off we will be. Why? Because Saturn doesn't like cramming for the exam on the night before the exam. Saturn is about methodical, consistent discipline. It's about doing the work on a regular basis over a long period of time. So when Saturn moves into Capricorn on December 19th in 2017, it's like each and every one of us should begin thinking about what's our two to three year plan. What are we going to begin working on now that might be overwhelming to make happen now? But if we think about doing it step by step by step, then we can accomplish the greatest things. It's said that even the greatest journeys of a lifetime still occur one step at a time. This is the message of Saturn in Capricorn. It's we can have all the big ideas in the world we want, but if we don't break it down and do something in each and every moment along the way, we'll find ourselves behind the eight ball and in trouble toward the end of this transit in 2020. Conversely, if we commit to the long haul and doing the work step by step every inch of the way, the rewards will be great, greater than we can imagine uh, as we approach the end of Saturn's day in Capricorn in 2020. For Tarot.com, I'm Rick Levine.